Welcome everybody. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Today, we will be moving through a full body Pilates workout using a mini Pilates ball. As we move throughout this workout, please listen to your body and modify as needed. You can always add on some ankle weights or wrist weights if you would like to increase the intensity. Otherwise, you can work with the body weight in the ball just like I will be doing today. We will get started right away. So we will turn towards the front of the mat in a seated position and we'll take just a few moments to settle in and tune into our breath. So you can bring the hands on top of the knees, integrity through the spine with chin parallel to the earth. You can close the eyes here if you would like, and then we'll take an inhale through the nose. Open mouth, sigh, release. Again, big inhale through the nose. Open mouth, sigh, release. Last one, inhale through the nose. Open mouth, sigh, release. And start to find a natural cadence with your breath. Notice the shift just from those three big inhales and exhales. Allow yourself to bring awareness to where you are in space and allow the mind to center. Then go ahead and flutter the eyes open. We will begin our movement. Go ahead and grab your ball. Plant your feet on the earth with knees bent. Ball will come in front of you between both hands. Little bit of a C curve here and then lean back into the point where your total core belt is activated. We'll hold here for five, four, three, knees in line with the hips, two, and on one, very slowly lift yourself up. Try to bring your shoulders in line with the hips, and then we'll bring ourselves back to that same position where the total core belt is activated. Slowly lift yourself up and then bring yourself back. So we're moving through a core warm up here. We have three more just like this. Very slowly bring yourself up, slowly bring yourself back. You don't have to squeeze too much on the ball, but just make sure there's a little bit of tension so you can warm up your arms and your chest as well. Last one here. And we find another hold. Total core belt is activated. Breathe for five, four, three, two, and one, roll yourself all the way down onto your back and then walk your feet in a little bit closer. Lift your feet off the mat and you'll imprint your spine into the mat. Knit the ribs in, knees in line with the hips here. Then bring the ball over towards the right thigh. Both hands will press onto the ball and your legs will be slightly separated here. So at the same time that you press the knee in towards the ball, press your hands into the ball and release. So we'll press and release, press and release. Keep with that for a few more reps. Very slow. Don't forget to breathe. You might notice little shakes already coming in. We have two more here. Last one and then we'll find a pulse. Pulse for six, five, four, three, two, and one. 
switch it right to the other side and then we'll start slow press the knee and the hands into the ball and release press and release keep moving as you press and release check in with the core are the ribs still knitting in neutral neck here you can gaze up towards the ceiling last two here and then after our last one we'll find the pulse 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 keep breathing keep moving for four three two one keep the ball on your left thigh right hand will stay connected to the ball lift left hand up towards the ceiling we'll move into a dead bug keeping this firm grip of the ball in between your left knee and right hand inhale extend left arm back right foot forward exhale bring it in inhale extend exhale bring it in inhale extend exhale bring it in keep moving here core is really working to stay stable we have a few more really connect to the breath last two last one then we'll switch it right to the other side this time left hand stays connected balls against right knee right hand up we inhale extend exhale bring it in inhale extend exhale bring it in keep moving inhale extend exhale bring it in so lots of control here yes you can starting to really feel the shakes last two here last one then grab the ball lower the feet down to the earth separate the feet to the width of the mat and start to find a tick tock of the knees left and right we'll go ahead and let the tick tock go make sure you're even and then start to heel toe the feet back in line with the hips and we'll bring our feet back into that supine tabletop again knit the ribs in and place the ball in between the knees you can lift your arms up towards the ceiling or keep them alongside the body whichever will provide the most support and stability for you in your body today then we'll go ahead and squeeze the ball and release squeeze and release remember to imprint the low back into the earth keep moving here you can squeeze on the exhale to help connect the breath we have three more last two last one now create tension on the ball we'll slowly lower the toes to the mat and lift try to keep a 90 degree angle at the knees lower and lift really check in with your rib cage as you lower the feet your rib cage is going to want to open up towards the ceiling so really use the core to keep everything down and locked in you can also bring both of your hands on top of the abdomen to try to feel and really help guide the engagement last two here last one then lower the feet down to the earth keep the ball exactly where it is if you need to adjust it slightly because it moved while you were moving you can go ahead and do so then hands come alongside the body press through the heels and peel yourself up into a bridge we hold here in our bridge squeezing on the ball 
and then we'll find a little lower and lift. Lower and lift, ribs knit in, find a neutral pelvis here. We have five, four, three, really drive through the heels each time you lift, last two, last one, we hold at the top, find a little pulse up, up, little inch, and squeeze for five, four, three, two, one, hold at the top. Now squeeze the ball with the inner thighs, release, little pulse. Squeeze, little pulse, squeeze, little pulse. So we keep with this combo movement here. We're halfway through. Again, really drive through the heels each time you lift. Last two, last one. Hold and squeeze at the top, then start to pulse the ball in for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold here, squeeze the ball, and then weight starts to shift into left foot. Start to extend your right foot out, lower tap the toes. Extend right leg, lower tap the toes. Extend and lower, you have one more. Extend, and we'll lower right foot. We move to the other side, weight into right foot. Extend left leg, lower tap the toes. Extend, and tap, check in with the core. Extend, and tap, last one. Extend, and tap, squeeze, hold at the top and then roll yourself down. Go ahead and grab your ball, roll onto the right side. So your right arm will extend out here. Ball will come underneath your left knee. Your left knee will be in line with your left hip. Now we find a neutral pelvis here, so there's going to be a little bit of space between your right rib cage and the earth. You can always place your left hand in front for a little stability. Then we extend, point the toes on right leg. Then we lift and lower, lift and lower. So there's a little bit of tension through your left leg on the ball, and we're lifting and lowering, working the inner thigh of right leg. Slow and controlled movements here for three, two, on one, hold at the top, little pulse up for an inch, up, up, for five, four, three, two, one. Hold right leg extended up. Now pulse your left knee into the ball. It'll be a very little movement for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower right leg down, remove the ball from left leg, and then we'll roll over, come into all fours facing the back of the mat now. We will bring the ball into our right hand. Left hand will be down on the earth. So your left hand is in line with your left shoulder. Right hand is extended out with the palm on the ball. Then go ahead and extend your left leg long. And we'll just use the ball for a little bit of stability work here, really challenging the core as we lift left leg, lower and tap. Lift left leg, lower and tap. Check in with your core, ribs knit in here. Try to keep a neutral pelvis. Now remember that neutral does not mean natural, so some of us have a little bit of a larger sway in our low back. This does not mean that that sway is going to totally disappear. We have a few more here, then we'll add on. Last two, 
last one. So we'll keep the pulse of the leg. This time as you lift the leg, press into the ball, release, lower the leg. Lift and press, release and lower. Lift and press, release and lower. Gaze is down towards the mat with a neutral neck. Keep breathing here. Lots going on, the total body is working. We have two more. Last one. Now hold here, grab the ball with your right hand, you'll lift the ball off the earth. Then as you lift your left leg, sweep the ball back towards the left leg, then sweep it towards the front as you lower. Sweep the ball back, sweep it forward. So we have another combo movement here. Now the core in the tabletop is only supported by two limbs. You have your left hand and right knee, really recruiting the obliques to keep us stable. Last few here. We have our last two, last one. You'll keep your left leg lifted, place the ball in between your left hamstring and calf, right hand comes onto the earth this time. We'll lower left knee in line with right and lift. Lower and lift, your left foot is flexed. Find the engagement through your left glute. Keep breathing, keep moving. Lots going on, embrace the shakes. Last two. On this last one, we hold at the top, pulse up and up for six, five, four, three, two, one, hold at the top. Now squeeze in on the ball, squeeze. Lots going on for that left hamstring. Yes, you can. We have four, three, two, one. Lower the knee, release the ball, and sit back into a child's pose. Couple of more rounds of breath here in child's pose. And then go ahead and bring yourself up. We'll move to the other side. So this time your left arm will be extended. You'll face towards the front of the mat. As you lower yourself down, extend through left leg. Ball comes underneath your right knee. Again, we have a neutral pelvis here, so there'll be a little bit of space between your left rib cage and the mat. You can use your right hand for stability here if you would like. And then just go ahead and just make sure that your right knee is in line with right hip. Now we lift left leg and lower. Lift and lower lift and lower. So you have some tension on the ball, but you're not necessarily pushing into the ball here. We'll have time for that. Last few here. Give me two more. Last one, we hold at the top, little pulse up and up. Keep breathing, keep moving for four, three, two, one, keep it lifted. Now we pulse into the ball. It's a very small micro movement. You might be able to barely see your leg moving for four, three, two, and one. Lower left leg down, grab the ball. We roll over, we come up into all fours. This time the ball will be underneath the left hand and extend it out, right hand underneath the shoulder. We extend our right leg back. We start with just the lift and lower, lift and lower. Press up and away from the mat. 
knit the ribs in. Again, neutral pelvis here. We have a few more before we add on. Last two, last one. Now we add the pulse, so lift the leg, press left hand into the ball and lower. Lift and press and lower, lift and press and lower. Neutral neck, gazes down towards the mat. Last four, three, we have two and one. Now we'll lift left hand off the earth, ball in left hand. As we lift right leg, ball sweeps back. Lower the leg, sweep the ball forward, lift, bring the ball back, lower, sweep it forward. Lift, bring it back, lower, sweep it forward. Keep moving here. Check in with your spine, your core. Last two. One more here, then keep your left leg lifted. Place the ball in between your right hamstring and right calf. Left hand plants on the earth. Lower your right knee in line with left and lift. Right leg is moving, right foot is flexed. Lots going on to challenge the core here. We're already halfway through. Last three, last two. On this last one, we hold at the top, pulse up and up for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Squeeze, pulse in and in. Squeeze the ball for five, four, three, two, and one, lower right knee, release, place the ball alongside the mat, tuck the toes, lift the hips, down dog, stretch through the hamstrings and the calves. Take a moment here to breathe, to allow the legs to release. Begin to lower the knees down towards the earth. We'll move into some upper body work. So go ahead and grab your ball. Ball will start in right hand. We're going to move into some tricep bows. So your hands are about a half a handprint in front of your shoulders. Now to make this easier, you can always shift the hips back, but we wanna to try to keep the hips in line with the knees. So we inhale here, exhale lower down towards the earth. Inhale lift, exhale lower. Inhale lift, exhale lower. So the ball is definitely adding a stability challenge here. Shakes come in right away. Check in with your core, make sure you still have a strong core and the ribs are knitting in. Last three, last two, last one, we hold little pulse, little pulse for six, five, four, three, two, one. Press all the way up, we switch it out, ball goes into the other hand, check in with your alignment, then inhale here, exhale lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Keep moving. The second side is always harder. Really connect to the breath. Move precisely, move with control. We have three, last two, Last one and we hold, little lift, 
little pulse for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Press all the way up. This time the ball will come underneath both hands. So we'll move into a form of a lat press. So we'll roll the ball out and then press the hands, whichever is connected to the ball, into the ball and keep pressing to lift yourself up. So we'll lower down, really press as much as you can into the ball and lift. So we want to feel this through the lats, through the back, lower and lift. Really take your time here lower and lift. We're halfway through. Last four. Core is still engaged. Last three. Give me two more. Last one here. And we lift ourselves up, roll the ball a little closer to the body, then extend the legs back. We're moving to a back extension with the ball. So you're going to place the ball in the middle of the rib cage in the front of the body. So extend the legs, squeeze through the glutes to protect your low back. If you're starting to feel any pinching right away, release the ball. If not, we'll keep the ball and then we bring the hands behind the head by interlacing the fingers together, lower onto the ball, or if you're not using the ball, down to the mat. Then as you exhale, lift. Lower on the inhale, exhale, lift. Keep squeezing the shoulder blades together and really squeeze the glutes. So the whole posterior chain is working here. If it helps to bring the heels together to squeeze the glutes, you can go ahead and do that as well. Whichever is going to provide the most support for your body. Last three. Last two. One more, hold and squeeze at the top, little pulse up and up. Neutral neck for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down, release the ball, lift yourself up, and then find your way into a child's pose. Breathe here, deep inhales and exhales. Allow the breath to slow. Then begin to lift your hips up, tuck the toes, hips to the sky for another down dog. You can pedal out the feet here if you would like. Then bring the knees down, walk them through the hands, come on to a seat, cross at the ankles, it doesn't matter which leg is in front, we'll move into a side stretch. Right hand on the earth, left hand overhead, stretch long through the left side of the body. And then bring yourself all the way in front, walk the hands over, left hand plants this time, right hand overhead. So we'll do that again, we walk the hands in front of the body, walk them to the right, right hand plants, left arm lifts, we switch it back out to the other side. Then we'll walk the arms in front, fold over here for a breath. Then begin to walk yourself up, switch out the legs. So we'll do that again. This time we'll start to the left, left hand down, right hand overhead. Really try to keep the hips planted, especially as you bend. So we'll walk the hands in front, over to the right, lift left arm, walk them back to the left, left hand plants, lift right. 
One more time, just like that. And then we all meet by walking over towards the left with left hand planted. Go ahead and bring yourself back up. We'll extend both of the legs. Bend through right knee. Right foot comes on left side of left leg. And we'll go ahead and wrap left arm around right leg. Right hand plants, gaze beyond right shoulder. Finding a stretch through right glute, perhaps right side of the low back. Then go ahead and release. Keep your right leg in a figure four shape and then bend at the left and you can scoot your boot a little bit closer and stretch a little bit more through right glute. And then we'll walk the glutes back, extend the left leg out and we switch it out other side. Left knee bends, foot plants outside of right leg. Wrap right arm around left leg, left hand plants as you twist back integrity through the spine here. With each exhale, perhaps you find a little bit more length, a little bit more of a twist. Then we release the twist, keep left leg in the figure four shape, bend at right knee, walk right foot in, and then you can walk the glutes in a little bit closer if you would like a little bit more of a stretch. Then release, let that go. We find a simple seat again. A Little bit of a tricep stretch here. Inhale, arms overhead, bend at left elbow, stretch through left tricep using right hand to assist by draping on left elbow. Then release, interlace the hands at low back, roll shoulders up towards the ears, slide them down, extend through the arms. Release, let that go. We go to the other side, inhale, arms up. Exhale, bend at right elbow this time. Plant right hand at the upper back. Left hand drapes on right elbow to assist. Release and let that go. You are done with your Pilates a mini ball workout for the day. If you liked this video, please make sure that you like and comment below. Thank you for tuning in with me today and I look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great day.